I think I've just learnt just to be nice to everyone, and, and also I think that's what, you know, Charlie's learnt that from Johnny, but yeah, obviously he can't, but, uh, but I think Charlie knows that, you know, if you just be nice to everyone, you're just going to get along well. That is what we call a flashback. That's Freddie Highmore 15 years ago when he starred in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. And now he's starring in The Good Doctor on ABC. Welcome. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, when you see yourself back then, I know. What, what, do you, what do you think? You're very mature for a little kid. And, and seemingly nice as well. Like, you've got to be nice to people. Yes. That seems good. It Hopefully, I've kept good. a little bit of that. It comes through on Dr. Sean Murphy. <laughs> on <laughs> it, a good it doctor. It does. You didn't do what, what I expected you to do, which was cringe. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. look at their, their 15 year old selves or 15 years ago selves and are like, oh, what was I doing? What was the hair doing? What was my shirt doing? I mean, the hair is a little. It is a no, little it's much, a solid isn't it? choice. In fact, someone just asked me very recently, did you ever do anything other than this with your hair, the yeah, hair I have now, which you're kind of tied into on the show, of yeah. course. Um, and so I guess I did have spiky hair <laughs> once with some blonde in there. What yeah. do you remember about working with Johnny back then? Were you aware of like his star power back then, even as a kid? Not really. Not so much? I mean, of course, you're aware of the wonderful opportunity that you're having and the great people that you're working with, but mm -hmm. he never felt like a star as, as such. He didn't behave like one. And mm, so. That's cool. I think when you go in as a kid and, well, you know as well, but like you, you sort of start off as, as a kid acting, the world doesn't feel too crazy and you don't get caught up in the kind of madness of it. It just feels like a nice group of people that you get to go in and hang out with every day. Right. Speaking of some of the madness, um, Mario Lopez mm -hmm. went to a big soccer game this weekend. He's still wearing his scarf. Right? I can see that. That's why I'm, I'm still looking like I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a big soccer fan. Football. Like football, I said, exactly. football, football, football. Who's your team? Who's Arsenal? Arsenal. Ah, Do you lose okay. it when you go to games? Yeah, I, I really, we've, so we've got season tickets um, two between the four of us, my family back home, but obviously working in Vancouver, I don't get to go physically to the games, yes, but I'll get tough. up at like you know, four in the morning for the early Saturday game. Well, we, got, we want oh. you to feel inspired. We got a here. little gift for you, brother. Since, oh, you know, thank since you. we can both rock them right here. Absolutely. There you go, my friend. Oh, thank you. See? Boom. There you go. See, now nice. this is wonderful. Rocking thank it you. with pride here. Uh, I mean, we're not doing great this season. <laughs> but there's still time. But, but I respect the loyalty. Always. Yes. Well, you can't. No fair uh, weather there. Yeah. You, you know, I always uh, I always say that I, I like to root for former child actors, uh -huh. you know, being a former child, because it's so tough to make always the transition, and you've done such a great, successful job. Wh what do you tribute to, uh, you think, the, 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 the transition itself? I mean, I know you took a little bit of a uh -huh. break. Do you think that helped a lot? Or? Yeah, I mean, I guess aside from Arsenal, um, <laughs> my, my commitment to them uh, and belief in them. Uh, yeah, I went off to, I went to university and kind of took a bit of time away from from acting as such, and so I think definitely that helped me return to it as as an adult with it being an active decision. I guess I didn't want to feel like I ended up doing it just because I did it as a kid and never really chose it. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and so I think that was useful to me to kind of get a bit of perspective of... of uh, Live a little life. Yeah. I sure. thought it was impressive that you studied French, Spanish, and Arabic, am I right? Ooh. That is right, I know. Ambitious. Intense. Yeah, intense. It's, I mean, I'm sure lots of it has been lost now, but um, <laughs> but yes, I did. The, the effort was there. We'll cut to congratulations. You got a hit show, The, the Good Doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, big hit. What, what, where can we uh, find your character? Sean, I've been looking all over for you. So, well, there he goes. The, the end, of the, um, <laughs> the, end of the season is kind of ties into okay. um, the big storyline, I guess, for Sean, for which has been him trying to find love and trying to, you know, figure out who the person is that he wants to be with and at the same time the other people who are around him in his orbit figuring out whether they're in love with him. Um, and then alongside that, towards the end, we've got this big two-parter of a massive earthquake episode, um, which will be... An exciting uh, last okay, couple of. Okay, we can't yeah. be in LA talking about. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. getting all. I know. I mean, we're waiting San on the big Jose, one. We film in Vancouver, but San Jose is the um, is where the, the show's meant to take place. That's so. that's for taste. But I know the show is seen all over the world. Have you heard your voice dubbed in other languages yet? No, I haven't. So I met in Spain the person who did the voice, but I haven't seen a whole episode with him doing it. But oh, it was the kind of version. yeah, the Spanish version. It was kind of weird to. Um, 
to just talk to someone and they... They yeah. always go deep. They always go, muy bien, gracias. Well, <laughs> I feel like they're much... Right. Yeah, Sean is, um, you know, speaks in a bit more of a higher register for uh -huh. whatever reason. But definitely the Spanish version is They is give you more, some baritone, right? He's more sexy. Well, he's kind know. of like... <laughs> I, I think the guy who does it must think, like, this always works. You know, <laughs> right. like, I know, I know you, what they want. <laughs> it's funny you mention it. You haven't seen a clip. Uh, roll it! <laughs> the toilet paper is in the wrong direction. The way you like it. You got angry when we were roommates because I sometimes couldn't accept your way of doing things, but I can learn to accept things I'm not comfortable with. This is not bothering me at all. So apparently the joke's on me. That's not the Spanish version. That's just a clip of the show. I'll do the translation. Ahí está el papel. ¿Dónde está el pared? Gracias. Ah, see? There we go. You should be sure. You could do that. You could dub him. I could use another job. other things. You're busy enough. Congratulations on everything. And thank you for this. You got it, my friend. Good to see you, Brad. Lovely to see you. That's Freddy on The Good Doctor, Mondays at 10 on...